So hopefully you've been following along and where we're at right now is that we created a tracking template in Google AdWords where we're tracking the campaign name and also the ad group that people come from. Uh, we set up that tracking template at the account level and we used all these UTM parameters to do that. So what that looks like is when someone clicks on an ad, we're passing this data to your landing page and this is the data that we plan on capturing inside Infusionsoft. Um, but what this is not telling us is which individual ad they clicked on. And so the purpose of this video is to show you how to set that up. And to do that, we're going to use some value track parameters. We're also going to capture the keyword that somebody uh, typed in. Um, we can't capture the exact keyword, but we can capture the keyword that triggered the ad. So basically the keywords, you know, that you're bidding on and stuff like that. So you'll know which keyword that you need to spend more money on or, or whatever. <clears throat> so let's take a look at our ads uh, right now we're not uh, well we don't see our tracking template or custom parameters so I'm just gonna modify the columns here and I'm gonna add under attributes I wanna see custom parameters and tracking templates just to see what we have set up right now uh, so right now nothing is set up at the ad level uh, it's empty and just a word of warning um, if you touch anything at the ad level, so if you modify a custom parameter or anything at the ad level, it'll trigger a review process. Uh, and so Google AdWords will review your ad and all that stuff, and then your, your stats get reset. So you might be telling yourself, oh, I don't want, I don't want any of my ads reset. I don't, want, I, don't, I don't want any of that stuff to reset. I don't want a review process triggered. I don't want that. All right, so there's three options here. You can either not track at the ad level and just not worry about it. Maybe at the ad, going all the way down to the ad group level is far enough and you're good with that because you don't want to touch anything at the ad level. So that's kind of option one is do nothing. Uh, option two would be to uh, use a value track parameter and at the very least we can capture the ID of the ad. So the ID will tell you which ad uh, somebody clicked on. Um, to look to find the ad ID, we can just modify the columns here and under attributes there is ad ID right there. So I'll just apply that. So over here on the right, this is the value that we would collect if you use if you capture the ad ID. Uh, then the other option, of course, is to use a custom parameter, but that's going to trigger the review process. So uh, what I want to show you is how to set the UTM content, which will be the ad. This is gonna describe the ad. And I'm gonna show you how to do a custom parameter first, even though we've kind of already covered that, but I'm just gonna show you how to do it at the ad level. So let's uh, modify our tracking template here. Let's do UTM content, and let's create a underscore ad. And you will not wanna do this if you uh, don't want your stuff getting triggered for review but let's go ahead and do this for everybody that doesn't really care about that. So go to the tracking templates, we'll paste in our new template, we'll save that. Let's go to our ads and let's add the custom parameters. Now on the other screens, we could just click right here and we could add it, but you can't do that at the ad level. So you have to actually go edit the ad, go to the URL options and it already has the underscore. So we'll do underscore ad. Now this, Ad is about lead source tracking, so I'm going to put lead source tracking, and then I'll save it. And <clears throat> for my next one, I'll do this one, and let's pretend that this ad was about a free trial. So I might want to identify this ad as the free trial ad, and I'll save that. Uh, so I have my different custom parameters here and all this is just dummy stuff so I don't want anything running so I'm gonna pause it and uh, so see how all this got reset and now the review process is triggered and you lost your stats <clears throat> but uh, you'll be able to capture a little bit more detailed information so for this one this is underscore ad free trial if we wanted to test this uh, just this individual ad um, before we were going to the account settings and we were testing the template but if we wanted to test just one individual ad we can we can click on this test button right here so there's no tracking template and I don't want a tracking template here because I want to use the account template but I can click test 
And what this will do is it'll find the landing page and then it has the same screen that we're familiar with where it shows the, the template is from the account level and then here's all the values. The ad group is set to Black Friday, the ad is set to free trial, and the campaign is set to fall, and then this would be the final click URL. This is the data that's passed to your site, which is what we would collect in Infusionsoft. Uh, so let's talk about the option where we're gonna use a value track parameter to capture the ad ID instead. If we did that, then that's a lot simpler. So let me, let me go ahead and back out of these changes where I added these custom parameters. <clears throat> so what I'll do, I'll just mass update the ads. I'll just hit edit and change custom parameters and remove parameters and apply. So this will remove all the parameters for this, uh, for all my ads. Now that didn't remove parameters at the campaign or ad group, just at the ad level. But there is a way you can mass update this stuff. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to go with option two. Let's go look at using the creative value track parameter. So here's my template. And instead of doing underscore add, we're going to do creative. This is called a value track parameter. And also, I want to capture the, the keyword. So we're going to use UTM term. So we're going to do UTM term equals keyword, which is also a value track parameter. So let's take this and let's put it in our template here. So I just pasted that there, save it. So notice when you hover over this, how the creative is set to the ID of the ad. And if we go to the ads, there's all the creative, so uh, the, you'll, you'll be able to capture the ID of the ad. I don't know how helpful that's gonna be to you, but you'll at least be able to identify which ad, and it's easy to do because you only set it at one, one place right here. Now the keyword, uh, when we test the keyword, I'm just gonna click on this, so <clears throat> there's the creative ID, but the keyword is empty. Now. Since we're testing it, there is no keyword. We didn't type in anything or anything like that. So the keyword's blank, but if they did come from the search network and typed in something, there would be a value populated. But when you're testing it, there's just no value. Uh, so here's the data that's coming in that would be collected in Infusionsoft. Uh, so that is how you track all the way down to the ad level, and you can also capture keyword data. <clears throat> 